Hello there, greetings everybody, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of for episode 3 of the mini-series that I'm running, one of the mini-series that I'm running for January, which is Kiss the Originals. So what we're doing here is I'm running four episodes, one for each of the original four members, and I'm just going to give you some information about them, talk about them a bit. And so if you've missed them, you have to go back and see them. There'll be a link at the end for that as well. So we've done Peter Chris. He was episode one. And we've done Paul Stanley. He was episode two. Gene Simmons rolled the next highest dice, so he's going next. And so we have we have Gene Klein or eventually became Gene Klein when he came here, and when he went on stage became Gene Simmons. I uh, born August the twenty fifth. 1949 now 74 years old wow it's hard to believe these guys are so pushing that man um he joined the band in 1972 so that was uh so they, he's been with the band 51 years bass player lead vocalist has two solo albums one with the kiss label on it which is going to be included in my top 10 as well. And then one, um, which he did uh, later, Kiss My Ass, I guess is the name of it. So anyways. And uh, I may be one of those people as well. But there are some things about him that I think are notable. The first thing... Um, he was one of the original two members of this band coming from Wicked Lester, uh, having recorded some uh, an album there too. It's actually you can find that on um, you can find that on YouTube now. The uh, Wicked Lester. After, anyways, uh, his he is a, a Jew. His uh, he's Jewish. His family came from Israel uh, I believe both of his parents were in concentration camp well, at least his dad was I, I know that for sure I don't know as much about that what the age was um, young enough to uh, go to school and stuff anyways um, and uh, he took up playing bass eventually and uh, joined Wicket, well, formed Wicket Lester with Paul Stanley, or at that time, Stanley Eisen. And then uh, they wanted to do something. And so they left and then they sought out, um, they uh, answered an ad for Peter Chris and then had an audition for Ace Freely and that's how the band came into business. That's the basics of how it came in. So Gene was the bass player of the band, of course. Um, and like I said, you can say... out ...and did as much as they could. And very bombastic, very... Um, um, glammy, everything. Nobody had seen anything like this before. And of course, Gene, being what he was, was the most of them, like the most bombastic of them. Um, I think he's the most in character, too. The other three. Sometimes my aunts or my mother will say to me, You still listen to that band with that crazy bastard that spits blood and breathes fire? They don't remember the other guys. They remember him, you know, because he was so bombastic. And I think that w that's what put them on the map, both good and bad. The people that hate them. So 
So I think he put them on the map. And when I first started following them, he was the guy I liked. He was who I wanted to see. I wanted to see this guy who's a demon spitting blood and breathing fire and with that crazy hairdo and that, that intricate makeup. Uh, yeah, so I think he was... For the first, I think probably for the first year, it might even been a bit longer, I, he, I, he was my favorite character. And I kind of started to drift away from him. Became more enamored with Ace Freely. And then eventually Ace Freely became my favorite member of the band. And has been that way, well, going back 76. In recent years. kept the glue of the band together but um, at any rate I've, I like them all and uh, Gene not as much as I used to but I still like them I still like the music anyways so then we get down to now I got to give you my top 10 favorite songs that <laughs> I think most of, if you look at the songs I chose, most of my favorite songs by Kiss are, a lot of them are from him. Uh, some of them not penned by him, but a lot of the songs he sang were, were among my favorites. So we got, I'm going to give you this, this, um, mentions at the end too. Um, and I'll, and then we'll go up to my number one. Um, and I don't want you to think that these are what I think are the definitive Gene Simmons songs or the definitive top ten Gene Simmons songs. These are just my own personal favorites, you know. And I've been listening to Kiss since 1975. Uh, 16, I had Kiss Alive. Rock and Roll Over, Hotter Than Hell, Destroyer, Kiss Alive 2, and The Four Solos, I think. Yeah, and The Four Solos too. Uh, I only have one of the solos left because people just take them and they don't give you back. You know, that was a while ago though, so. This is one of the best vocal songs that he did. Almost Beatle-ish like um, Mr. Make Believe. I like this song quite a bit. Um, the other song on that album I like quite a bit. They're both both the same. Um, I can't remember the title of it right now, but both of them very good vocal sounds to his voice. From the from this album, their debut. Um, a song that he didn't actually write. It was written by Ace Frehley, but he sang it because in that time period, Ace still wasn't singing. And it's Cold Gin, a real kind of heavy rocking song. Like Next up, we got from number eight, also a solo also him, just him singing, uh, written by him. And it comes from this album, Rock and Roll Over. And we're talking about Calling Dr. Love. This is a bombastic song. Most of his <laughs> Quite a bit as well. Next up, from the debut again. Going back to the debut. Gene Simmons. A uh, song that he penned and sang, Deuce. For a long period of time, I believe, at least for the first couple of years until Destroyer came out, it was the... <laughs> like the song. I like the heaviness of it. His vocals are great on this tune. Um, and again, I like the live from Alive, I like that version better than the one on here, but I still don't mind this one either. 
Okay, so up we have, I believe it's on this album. I believe it's on this one. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, from Hotter Than Hell, the song All The Way, written by Simmons, sang by Simmons. I always like this. Of course, there's no live version of this, so I don't know if it would have been better or not. I, I saw on that, I think there's a version of this that they sang, but I can't remember what episode it was. It's good too. So all of their stuff that they sing live is almost always better. There's very few exceptions, and this is not one of them. So great. Great tune, like it, um, from the Hotter Than Hell album. But it's still a good album. I just don't think it's as good as I originally thought it was. But in the time period, I absolutely adored everything on this album. Uh, the song Sweet Pain, written by Simmons, sang by Simmons. It's become one of the, the couple, there's a couple of tracks on this album I still like a lot. Pretty pounding, great tune, could have been on Rock and Roll Over, would have been perfect. But it's on Destroyer. Okay, so next up, also, well, I just might as well keep it right up here, from the uh, same album, a song written by Paul Stanley, However, sung by Gene Simmons. One of his signature songs, it's the... I think it's a live too that Peter Chris does his drum solo on that track as well. I know on a live one, Peter Chris does his drum solo on 100,000 Years, but I think on the a live two, he does the drum solo on God of Thunder. So this is one of Gene's signature songs. Really cool song. I like it. Next up. Song here. Um, but Gene sings it very well. I don't even know if Ace sang it now. Would I actually think that it's better or worse? I, I, I've, come to, I've come to feel that Parasite, which is the song I'm thinking of uh, talking about right now number three parasite uh him singing i don't know if i would like it better or not probably i wouldn't and the version on alive is absolutely killer i love it this one is good too but that one is fantastic it's one of the best best kiss songs i think next up um, off of Rock and Roll Over. Not going to tell me anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing this, because it's a CD. Yeah, it's. I, I'm pretty sure it's on uh, the second side, Love Them and Leave Them. Uh, I've seen a live version of this song, too. Um, it's not on their live album, uh, not on a live too. I don't think they've ever recorded it. Section either. I think I saw it one time. It was one of those midnight specials or something like that where they did. Um, I don't think it was midnight special, but it was a music videos, um, like a concert type video, like midnight special or there's a couple of other ones I can't remember. Uh, Mel's Rock Pile or whatever. Mills Rock Pile. Is that second scene? Right now I flash back to that video and I don't even know what it was I was watching. But I think it was great. So love them and leave them, number two. And last, long been my favorite song by him. Uh, it's on my probably my favorite studio album by them uh, of the four of them. I like the Ace Freely. Also penned by Gene. 
and saying by him. Yeah, it's a, easily my favorite Gene Simmons song, Watching You. I love it. I love the live version on the live as well. So good. This one is good too, but I think that live one is like, like cannibal. vocal songs. I'll just reiterate them once and I'll tell you a little bit about some of the other ones I like too. Watching You, number one. Love Them, Leave Them, number two. Parasite, number three. God of Thunder, number four. Sweet Pain, number five. All the Way, number six. Number seven. Deuce, number eight. Calling Dr. Love, number nine. Uh, Larger Than Life, from uh, Kiss Alive 2, from the fourth side. Um, Almost Human, from Love Gun. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, War Machine and Love It Loud, both from Creatures of the Night. Charisma, Dynasty, A World Without Heroes, The Elder. Most of this stuff is like really good stuff. Um, but you can only pick 10. If you're doing a top 10, you can only pick 10. You can't have 20 in a top 10. So there are a few songs on some of the later stuff too that I like. So there you go. That's it. That's where we are. Um, the, this is the third episode of Kiss the Originals. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe. Any comments about Gene Simmons or any of the other members or anything you want to comment about Kiss, put it down below. I won't take offense if you call me a bunch of names. That's fine. I'll get on that. Next Sunday. So this one's coming out t today. Next Sunday, we'll do the final episode of the four, which is, of course, Ace Freely. He's the only one left. I suspect this will be the one that most people like the most. Um, and so that will come out next Sunday. Uh, if you want to be notified of it, please hit the notification bell. At night, bye.